Uh, Jason, tell me about how you were feeling when you were um, writing down the best of luck as a concept. Um, well, that was another one. Um, once the, the intro came in, because that beat got actually brought to me. And when it was presented, it was like, as soon as I heard this, the only thing and the only person I could think about was you. Like all they could think about was me because they know when this it's time for some emotion to be written down and, and this it's go time. They 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 I'm I'm the guy to come to. And it was actually it was something that I needed to do as well. It was like that that whole navigation of how that track got to me just was perfect because of everything that had happened before well in that like last year of life that prepped me to to write that song like my grandmother had died my cousin had committed suicide so that was just sitting there all that was just just cooking and you know dancing through all those you know stages of grief and and me with my anger issues and then stress coming on top of that which kicks off the sickle cell issues and so that portion became the first verse so that was the motivation behind the first verse and, and all that's talked about in there you know and that's why like those words was like you know what well, time already did time could never take that you know what i'm saying like, like i know you may be gone now but we still got to, we have that time, we got those memories. And when I threw in the sickle cell, like one of my main joints, my main issues, my main problems, hell, the reason I'm in the hospital now, my back. So I played that into the metaphor, like sickle cell characteristics. You always got my back. You always had that. I always got yours, what the fuck they mean had. I mean, y'all wiped every tear that ever fell on these heating pads. I mean, that's just the true rap of it. Like, they always they always got me as family. So losing those two people really, I mean, got me and set me off. So I had to be my metaphorical entendre self and put that down like that and really explain the truth of it. And then the other portion was the one of the other real detriments was losing my wife for you know for that relationship to foster and grow since december of 2007 um and for it to essentially truly end on shockingly mia's birthday of 2017 was september 14 2017 you know what i mean i met her when mia was three months and man man which was i still was that's my son he would just turn three so that second verse that ending verse was dedicated to the ex-wife because i had to truly get that off like still on word regardless of what that'll never sit right with me that shit ending will never sit right with me but i'm using this song to close that chapter and goodbye and i wish you the best of luck i wish in all truth because ain't no beef with it or nothing ain't no beef and everything ended well, you know what I mean? It just was what it was. We grew in different directions. But I had to get that off of me. I had to get that out or it was going to do something. Yeah, land me back in the hospital. I'll go punching shit again. I'll lose all the work we've done working on my anger in a blink of an eye, in a split of a second. So what do you do? I go back to my usual. I get, I, it's time to write, or else I'm gonna go fucking nuts. So I chose to write that, wrote that down. I needed to write that down. That wasn't even a choice. I had to write that down. 
what do you feel are some things that you um you know you have that you want to get off your chest right now you know that you feel right now and that you feel you want to want to say you know before we close this this, this session out well before we close the session out you know just i want my motherfucking spot back i'll say that i deserve my spot back working for my spot back i'm gonna get my spot back you know shit, i ain't a force to be reckoned with out here I handle my business. I make sure I do what I need to do. But then come to these music skills. I got that. I'm going to let the world hear that. The world need to know that. My daughter need to know that. My father need to know that. My peers need to know that. And the world going to know that. So, you know, it's the usual is all. Fuck it. Let's take it there. Ain't nobody in the way but us. Kind of gladly step to the side and bulldoze me. It's only one way up. And ain't nobody moving us out the way. Time to take it there. Well, I think that uh, I have enough for today. Um, but I definitely want to let you know that we're going to stay in touch. If you need anything from me, um, let me know. All right. Is it cool if I put you down as a reference on my gun license? I don't think that would be a great idea. That's all right. <laughs>